Welcome to the Fast Mode podcast series. I'm Tara Neil and with me today is Sonia Gudenets, Solutions Marketing Manager at Incognito. Incognito Software Systems is a leading vendor of OSS solutions and services that help service providers manage the next generation broadband experience. Its productized platforms spanning device management, service orchestration and network intelligence bring extensive automation to reduce costs, improve the customer experience and offer a vendor agnostic approach to support any service or any network access technology. With over 20 years of experience in OSS, Sonia has held various customer-facing roles such as product marketing, sales engineering and professional services. Sonia joins us as part of our coverage of DTW Ignite 2025. Welcome Sonia, great to have you on today's episode. Thanks so much Tara, happy to be here. Awesome. Okay, to start, um, what does Incognito have lined up for DTW Ignite? What um, are you looking forward to the most? Well, Incognito is once again uh, driving a catalyst project at DTW. We're building on previous phases of our converged access project. Leading operators comprise our catalyst champions this year, such as mm -hmm. Claro Brazil, VNPT, GCI, NTT, and Verizon with fleets averaging 621 ships, hybrid connectivity solutions like satellite, mobile, fiber, and more cost over $67 million annually. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, cyber attacks on maritime systems have surged 400% mm -hmm. since 2020, mm -hmm. threatening critical ship operations. Environmental concerns are also mounting as rerouting ships increases emissions by 70%, prompting the International Maritime Organization to target net zero emissions by 2050. B2C, our Catalyst project this year, offers a solution through intent-driven dynamic network slicing across any access, enabling secure, high availability services globally, potentially saving fleets over 20 million annu annually. Uh, by enhancing connectivity, security, and sustainability, B2C helps shipping companies meet regulatory goals and reduce environmental impact. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that, that's really amazing, you know? So because, you know, we are seeing that, uh, you know, how we leverage so many excess connectivity technologies, but then at the same time, we have to deliver that one service consistently, right? So um, expanding on what you've just said, how challenging is it uh, to ensure a seamless transition across different CSP networks uh, when multiple network slices are involved? And how does Incognito help simplify this? Okay, so ensuring a seamless transition across different operator networks with multiple network slices is quite challenging uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, first up, interoperability issues. Different operators use different technologies and APIs. Second, slice management uh, complexity. Each slice is unique in terms of its QoS and SLA requirements and resource allocations. Number three, security. So maintaining the isolation and trust across networks is tough. Uh, also, fourth, mo mobility handling. So ensuring a seamless handover between operators retire requires real-time coordination and orchestration needs. This needs standardized, automated, and intelligent orchestration tools. Uh, Incognito helps address these challenges with our OSS solution and service orchestration, device management, and closed loop automation. Incognito is all about embracing industry standards like TM Forum Open Digital Architecture, mm -hmm. ODA for short, mm -hmm. uh, Broadband mm -hmm. Forum, and open APIs like um, GSMA Open Gateway and the Linux Foundation Chimera project. Mm -hmm. In the B2C um, initiative, Incognito integration partners like Digitata Networks for network slice inventory and Binom for the omnichannel marketplace um, provides the slice ordering and status. Uh, for uh, all connectivity globally uh, for a cargo fleet operator, avoiding the need for ships to order and coordinate connectivity per operator per ship. Mm -hmm. um, the B2C solution really in a nutshell creates a virtual network bubble around the ship, sailing with the ship from port to port, carving out networks and switching providers as needed in the background, 
automating configuration and provisioning, and preserving the SLA across geography, any access technology, and any regulatory body. So can CSPs expect um, you know, um, such financial and non-financial um, gains um, from deployment of uh, the solution that you've just mentioned, which is the borderless converged access? Um, yes, correct, correct. So deploying borderless converged access allows operators to unlock both financial and operational gains by delivering dynamic, intent-driven services across any network. Mm -hmm. From the show me the money situation, it, <laughs> it opens up new revenue streams in high growth mm -hmm. sectors mm -hmm. like maritime and smart ports, which mm -hmm. is expected to reach $15.3 billion market opportunity by 2030. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, so by, by reducing integration costs by 30% and speeding up service deployment by 40% through open APIs like Camara, um, the solution also supports faster ROI on network investment and enables cost-effective offerings like private 5G and IoT services. Now on the operational side, operators benefit from improved network efficiency, higher availability, and AI-powered services that enhance customer experience. Wow, I think you know, um, you, you know, you have mentioned about this term intent, right? So um, that that's 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 a really interesting concept. So, what does um, incognito define as intent, especially in the context of uh, intent-driven automation, and why is this concept really important for CSPs? In the context of intent-driven automation, so when considering the TM4 autonomous networks mm -hmm. uh, definitions, an intent is like giving a network a clear goal without mm -hmm. telling it exactly how to achieve it. The network then uses AI and automation to figure mm -hmm. out the best way to fulfill the goal on its own. Imagine you're the captain of a cargo ship and you mm -hmm. tell your crew, I want to dock safely and unload as quickly as possible. You don't explain every step, like checking the tides, assigning tugboats, or scheduling cranes. Your crew understands your intent and coordinates all the moving parts to make it happen efficiently. In the same way, an operator might say to the network, ensure secure high-speed connectivity for all ships entering the port of Copenhagen. The network then automatically allocates bandwidth, applies security policies, and adjusts resources without manual input. Mm -hmm. Intent-driven automation is crucial for operators because it helps them deliver services faster and um, operate more efficiently and innovate at scale. Instead of manually configuring networks, operators define high-level goals, essentially the intent, and the network handles the rest, saving time and reducing costs. This approach helps operators offer tailored SLA-based services like private 5G for ports or IoT for logistics, mm -hmm. adapt quickly to different industries, and unlock new revenue streams, all while improving customer experience and operational agility. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you know, CSPs um, work at the, um, at the layer where they define the outcomes they want, and then your solutions go in to make sure that you, know, you get them to where they want without them getting involved in con configuring every step along the way. Which, mm -hmm. which is a brilliant way to manage, you know, especially you know what you have just said—the scenario of the entire fleet and different connectivity technologies and so forth. So, yeah, I think that that's really fantastic, you know. And uh, I, I guess uh, we have uh, the last question for today: is uh, what challenges do organizations commonly face when transitioning to autonomous or intent-based networks, um, and how can Incognito um, address these? Okay. So challenges an organization might face are, are well, numerous, but we can mm -hmm. help and I'll mm -hmm. explain why. <laughs> mm -hmm. So first up, legacy infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, this may lack compatibility with modern automation tools, making integration difficult and costly. Mm -hmm. Another challenge is skills shortages, uh, specifically in AI, automation, and orchestration. That could slow down implementation and innovation. Mm -hmm. Uh, data silos or inconsistent data quality that hinders the network's ability to make accurate real-time decisions. Mm -hmm. Another challenge is trust and control. Some teams um, may be hesitant to rely on automated systems for critical operations. Mm -hmm. and, and the typical challenge is the lack of standardization across vendors. Um, this complicates interoperability and consistent deployment. So Incognito is here to help. Um, in, in aiding uh, operators to transition to intent-driven autonomous networks. 
by bridging the gap between high-level business goals and real-time network automation. Uh, we help operators define the intents, um, like prioritizing secure connectivity for docked vessels, and then our solutions automatically translating them into network actions using policy-based orchestration. With Incognito's modular standard-based architecture, we integrate into legacy systems, avoiding costly retrofits. Our no-code no code tools and pre-built automation workflows reduce the need for specialized skills while unifying uh, network and OSS data for smarter real-time decisions. And by supporting and embracing open APIs like TM Forum and Camara, Incognito ensures interoperability across multi-vendor and multi-network environments, mm -hmm. making it easier to scale and innovate. Wow. Well, I, I guess then you have got uh, you know a solution that is really needed um, at these times. And when you've just you, you mentioned rightly, you know the kind of attacks that we are looking at, you know the threats, and then the need to be connected at all times. Mm -hmm. You know, given these circumstances and given the load, um, the transport load that is being handled by large shipping companies, right? This is a solution mm -hmm. that I guess you know. We, I, I guess it's not just for for um, maritime. There are a lot of other industries that involve moving fleet where the same solution can be applied so thank you Sonia for joining us and for sharing your insights um, on incognito's participation um, and on your intent based automation solutions and uh, your exciting catalyst project thank you so much thanks very much Tara have a great day yep you too and to everyone tuning in, thank you guys for listening. If you want to learn more, visit www.incognito.com and follow us for more updates and insights as we continue to uncover the latest in technology and telecommunications. See you in our next session. Bye-bye.